Again, welcome to System Analysis and Design course. This is our first lectures, and we are going to cover the System Analysis role and skills, Unit 1, Part 1 lectures. Our main objective is to explain the System Analysis role in Information System Development. Now, the key role in developing information system is to analyze the business situation. So we must know the business domain, the type of business, the business operations. Also, we need to identify the opportunities for improvements in the business organization. Then designing an information system to implement that improvement. Now, system analysis rules first Interaction with an array of people. Example will be the technical specialists, such as the database administrators, DBAs, or network administrators, computer programmers, and also the business people, such as users, managers, steering committee, and also vendors and consultants. So interaction with an array of people. During this process again, as a system analysis may understand again, the function or the main objective of the system that they want to develop. Also be able to collect the system requirements, both functional requirement and non-functional requirement. Also there's a variety of special rules, such as people oriented, the change management analysis, project management. Also in this course, we're going to cover project management concepts. Also the business oriented requirement analysis, business analysis, and also technical oriented infrastructure analysis, and also the system analysis in general. And these are the topics we are going to cover in this course. Now, what, to, what do system analysis like about their work is very challenging. Also, if you enjoy technology or like technology uh, and also constant changing and also problem solving skills. Now, what do system analysis dislike about their work? And this question depends on individuals, but in general, for example, management's lack of communication, recognition can be a good example. End users mistakes and demands. Also stress, pressure and burnouts. And ever changing business technology. Now, if you enjoy learning a lot, keeping a pace with the dynamic uh, concept of this field, IT field, then this will not be and uh, this will be something, again, you will like, ever-changing business technology. And also unrealistic deadlines, I think that would be a, uh, a dislike. Now, how do you prepare for your career as a system analysis? Again, you must have a working knowledge of information technology, uh, computer programming experience and expertise, and general business knowledge. Now, it depends on the domain, the business domain. Also problem solving skills, interpersonal communication skills. You must be flexible and adapt to situations, character and ethics, and also system analysis and design skills. In general, four years college degree should be enough for a starting point. So that will be the conclusion of this, our first lectures. Again, these lectures will try to explain the whole concept of again, system analysis and professional field. Again, see you in the next lectures. Thank you.